Okay, I noticed this little guy in blue. And let's see if I can do the. So this is Drosera prolifa. And it is a sundew from Australia. And there's a flower. So if I can get him focused in any way. Um, so Drosseras are, as you can see, uh, insect eating plants. The, the uh, insects get caught on the leaves, the sticky honeydew. Um, Drosera actually kind of means like trash uh, or residue in and of itself. But anyway, Australia, so in Australia has a lot of interesting things, um, very large flowered ones and all sorts of interesting uh, sundews, dresseras, um, poor soils often enough, um, so they need a nitrogen source from some other place and animals have lots of protein, which is the um, nitrogen source. So anyway, let's see. Uh, not as shiny as it could be, but under the right light. But anyway, this is a lovely little plant, and it's blooming, so it's quite happy. Um, along with my orchids. Um, and uh, probably a little too much algae in there. But anyway, um, peat. It's got some uh, moss growing in there. That I'm not so terribly thrilled by. Um Got enough moss. But anyway, a lot of these Drosseras, um, you remove the leaf and just set it somewhere, it'll start uh, uh, rooting and turning into a little plant. So it uh, uh, multiplies by fragmentation. And it looks like my 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 uh, dewdrops are getting dry, so it's clearly growing in um, a more humid environment. But anyway, Sundews are very cute, um, and you probably should get some bigger flowered ones at some point. Um, I actually more pinguiculas than sundews, which kind of do the same thing, but um, um, butterworts are pin pinguiculas, uh, have nicer flowers. But like I said, there are some things, um, Drosseras, that have flowers that are upwards of two uh, centimeters, and certainly not this one. But anyway, there you go. It is, it is startling. So, but anyway, there's a little weird plant. 